Hello viewers, you're welcome to Kali with latest one-on-one -on -one discussion. My name is Emmanuel Anna and I am your host. Today we are meeting a spectacular personality, a veteran actor, a politician and a philanthropist. He is the Commissioner of Culture and Tourism in Cross River State, Nigeria. He is Eric Esau Anderson. Today we're meeting one-on-one -on -one with him to find more pressing issues and informations we need to get from him. Stay tuned and keep watching Kali with latest. Well, um, uh, first of all, since I'm part of that um, industry, I feel that there's a lot that uh, we have done so far, and there's also a lot that uh, is yet to be done. Uh, a lot um, in the sense that we are known for making movies in Kosovo. We can be listed as one of the states that actually uh, produce movies. And uh, when I say produce movies, movies of every class. You can remember that in 2012, uh, Half of Halo Sun, which had a Hollywood budget and had Hollywood stars in it, was produced in Cross River State. And uh, ever since, we've had a lot of those big movies come by. Uh, the likes of Jet Amata have had productions here. Uh, the likes of Izu, who is even currently in Calabar, for a second job in one year. You know, so that's the much we have done. But we've also seen most of our actors uh, migrate to Asaba, Lagos, Enugu, uh, Aquaibu to, to make movies as well. You know, so that's the much we have done. But um, on the other hand, we, you know, it's never enough. We're also hoping that someday the, the industry will move its uh, capital, so to speak, to Calabar, just as the movie industry started in uh, Enugu, moved to Lagos down to uh, Asaba now and other parts of the country. We're hoping that someday you know, we'll have the majority of the movies produced in Nigeria done here in Calabar. But as actors, we also need to develop ourselves and always be on alert for those productions that come. Because we still realize that when the big productions come, uh, we, 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 we are not um, uh, totally captured in the sense that before they come down here they must have done their uh, table casting, they must have taken most of their key uh, uh, crew members you know, so when they come down to Calabar carry out auditions and all of that so just a few things that is left that we lay our hands on so we need to develop ourselves such that from every experience, from every production uh, you are counted, you are identified so that when those productions come at the point of uh, conception, of course, the name, names will drop and they have you in mind. Uh, we also need to most especially be very professional. Uh, there's a lot that, uh, you know, that is entailed, you know, so um, I'm believing that the Actors Guild is also doing its own uh, a bit to, to train and retrain, orientate and reorientate people on how to be professionals on set. You may be a very good actor, but um, you, if you're not professional, it doesn't earn you the next job. So yes, good actor, good acting, we're available. We're trying our best, but most especially, let's be available and also be professional. And the jobs will come, it might come in trickles, but once once the producer is satisfied with the output of uh, the industry in Cross River and Calabar, he will bring yet another production. have a ready package. <laughs> I'm just a commissioner for culture and tourism development. Well, it's not in my place to decide what um, an actor takes in a movie. It's also not in my place as commissioner to decide what a producer gives. Uh, actors have a guild and it's called the Actors Guild of Nigeria. The producers have a guild which is called the Association for Movie Producers. And I, as a matter of fact, I mean, I mean both uh, guilds as as member now in AGN. I, I was uh, chairman of AGN 2011 to 2013. So uh, we had a template we were working with. It might not be the same as the template the present chairman Joe S.A. is working with. But um, the issue of artist fee, it depends on your bargaining power. You go to the market uh, to buy uh, a window. You know, there's someone that will buy that per window for 100 naira. But there's another person that the seller will sell to for 300, so it's a bargaining power. 
you know, so even the guild cannot decide what an actor is being paid. You know, it is a personal thing between the actor and the producer. If you are worth 10,000 or 5,000, then you get paid. If you are worth 100,000 and you can defend that worth, why not a producer can pay? But let's not forget that every producer comes with a budget, right? And uh, every producer is also able to pay for every service when that on a movie production. So I want to charge actors to, to, to up their game. So remember the last question, uh, you know, on uh, how the industry can improve. So if you are able to be available and professional, that naturally will hike your price. A lot. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, the government of uh, Central Press of Benaya has uh, expanded the scope of uh, tourism and culture. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, political heads in that in this industry. And don't forget that uh, His Excellency in Assumption of Office in 2015 created the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. He cre also created the Ministry of Sports and Cinematography and also created Caliwood uh, Studio. You know, so in all, there are a lot of ways one can benefit from. Uh, we try here in the Ministry of Culture and Tourism to encourage producers to come to Cross River State and make movies. So once they come to Cross River State, we give them free access to every state government-owned facility. So there's no state government-owned facility that you need to do a production that you get to pay for it on no no there's no fee attached to attached to it. So that's one way of you know benefiting. But you know it's also a, a trade and, and better thing. You know so we expect that if you also do movies in Cross River State and you want to do aerial shots, we should have aerial shots of Cross River State. So it's not when you come to our facility and use the inside of our facility and you now go to Lagos to use the bridge in Lagos, you know, to make your movie. So there's a lot more, uh, you know, areas one can, you know, benefit from. But, you know, you are the content um, uh, uh, creator. So you, you of course, know what your focus is on, you know, what you want, you know, to get as content. You know, so feel free, as I mentioned, there's the Ministry of Culture and Tourism Development, there's the Ministry of uh, Sports and, and Cinematography, there's also the uh, Caliwood Studio, who's... Uh, whose DG is our own sister, Sean George, a movie, movie producer and actor as well. So there are a lot of areas one can partner with, you know, the, the state, you know, in improving on uh, uh, movie production and entertainment as a whole. And don't forget that we also have a lot of stories untold from us. We have it in local government and in every local government there's a cultural product, there's a tourism product. So we haven't really started. So it's just for one to identify what areas, you know, in every story there are different areas, just like the Maurice Lesser story, there are many areas to it, the amazing story, there are many areas and approaches to it. So it's just for you to identify what you want and come to us and of course we'll be able to partner. Okay, well, um, I, I usually regard myself as solution looking for problems, not that um, you, you, go, you know, you, you always put that problems happen, but there will always be problems, you know, and I always come in handy as uh, one that tries to, you know, resolve issues. So I remember uh, some few weeks back, there was this um, misconception on the role of uh, the actors, producers, the equipment, Caliwood and all of that. And I stated clearly that Caliwood Studio is uh, a creation of the government of Cross River State. So whatever, uh, whatever item or equipment Caliwood Studio owns, it is government's, you know, it's government's equipment. Government have a, 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 a cameras in, in the, the media department that does their own work. So you can't say those cameras are owned by producers' uh, uh, association or actors' guild. It's a no on that. So the equipment in Caliwood are owned by government. And of course, you will not know what instructions are given, you know, on those equipment. But of, of course, if it's a government e equipment and they're used for production, it should also earn some revenue for the state government. You know, so to also give a, a bit of a soft landing to producers in Cross River State, I have said, okay, uh, from now to the month of November, I think, I'm sure you are aware, but it's keeping my mind already, to the month of uh, November, I, was, I will fund the camera for one producer every month, you know, to record in the space of uh, 14 days, which is uh, two weeks. Now, 
there are some people that can record in five days or six days. So if there's anybody that can do for five or six days, they can have two for that month. But my own, uh, uh, my own, you know, uh, package is for 14 days. It is just to help reduce cost of production for producers. Once I'm able to do that, it means more people will be producing, and that means that there's going to be more jobs for our people. I see that my first award is Crossroad Movie Awards and uh, it is my creation in 2013 but held about five editions before I got neck deep into politics and, and, uh, and, uh, and governance. You know, so we've, we've been on a break for a couple of years but for this year we're coming back believing that we have a lot of productions uh, from Cross River State, Aquaibom, South South that uh, we have not seen at that level of uh, awards. Uh, there are different grades of uh, production, but we don't segregate. You know, so from the highest grade to the lowest grade, they need to be seen and they need to be uh, awarded. And back in, in December, entries are opened already. It was opened on the 14th of uh, August and it will end on the 14th of October. So in December 14th, we will be holding our awards here in the city of Calvary. It's happening and uh, every single event of the festival will be happening. The carnival is an event in the festival. Of course, it's our biggest event too. It's always our flag uh, ship event. So it's an international uh, experience where the international community and even the national community are, are excited already about it. So the carnival will be happening this year and uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, de development in the last two years that we didn't hold the carnival didn't hold because of the global pandemic and every carnival in the world had shut down from Trinidad to Northern Hill to Rio Carnival and of course Calabar Carnival had to shut down. Uh, just yesterday uh, Northern Hill Carnival rounded up and in February Rio Carnival had happened. So this is the year everybody's resuming uh, back to the streets. So we're back as well in December. All of our uh, events from the Bikers Parade, Miss Africa, the cultural events. Crossover Movie Awards. We have um, stage dramas. We have about six stage productions that we're bringing back. The carols. Uh, we're having a proper gospel event. We're having an African Music Awards. Las Vegas uh, Beach Soccer Experience. A lot of events, you know, proposed for December. So we're hoping that uh, God willing, we'll be able to execute them as our last uh, round of festival and carnival as the government led by Senator Professor Ben Ayari.